This very shiny rock is mostly pyrite, FES2, false gold, but a small portion of it is this more yellow color, which indicates that it's CUFES2, or chalcopyrite, which is a very important source of copper. Now, you can find copper practically everywhere, from jewelry to electronics. Its properties, especially those relating to electricity transmission, make it a fundamental pillar of our modern-day society. So let's talk a little bit about what goes into producing it. How do we get from this to this? Well, this obviously comes from the ground, so once the mine is developed, we have to blast it out. That blast is the first bit of energy we add to this specific piece of rock, and it begins a process we call comminution, or size reduction. Our goal with comminution is to reduce the particle size of the material so that we can free or liberate the chalcopyrite from everything else that's in the rock. Once we do that, we can separate it out. Everything that's in a process costs money and energy, so the earlier we can separate out things that we don't need or things that are already in the state we need them to be in, the better and more efficient our process is going to be. One of the processes we can use to separate minerals is a process called flotation or separation based on surface chemistry. You can use the hydrophobic or hydrophilic, water hating or water loving properties of a substance to attach particles to bubbles and float them off the top of something called a flotation cell. This creates a concentrate which has a higher concentration of chalcopyrite than we started out with in the original rock. Once we've separated what we want from what we don't want, we can remove water from the concentrate and send it on to another metallurgical process that can remove copper from the chalcopyrite. For this type of ore body, that's most commonly a pyrometallurgical process that involves roasting to remove sulfur from the sulfide mineral and smelting, which involves heat and control of the electron activity in solution to remove elements that we don't want in a phase called slag. The copper material that comes out of that process is about 98% pure and is referred to as blister copper. So how do we get from that to this stuff, which might be 99.5 plus percent pure? Electro-refining. You take the ions you want, move them through solution, build them up on the other side, and end up with quite a pure metal. So there you go. That's a very general overview of some of the processes that might go into creating one type of metal from one type of ore. I hope you enjoyed and learned something.